We're here today to talk about the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. We're going to take a deeper look into the health issues that can affect the breed so that as an owner, you can properly prepare for any problems they may have throughout their lives. So let's get started. Welcome back to the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel Show. If you're new here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to teaching you everything you need to know about Spaniels. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future upload. Health issues can be quite an overwhelming thing to think about if you're looking into bringing any puppy home or you're a new owner. But hopefully we can ease at least a little of your worry by giving some specifics that are more common with this breed. And your Cavalier will be able to live a long and happy life. The average life expectancy of a Cavalier King Charles is between 10 and 16 years, although there are many things you can do as an owner to help encourage a long and healthy lifespan. There are hereditary issues that unfortunately you may have little control over. One thing you can do though is to make sure you find your pup from an established breeder who can provide as much information as possible in reference to family background. This is extremely important. Screening can and should also be done by your breeder to determine any recommendations for providing a healthy litter. This is especially important for Cavalier King Charles Spaniels as they are more prone to heart conditions than other breeds and these screenings can help spot dogs with any problems before they are bred and so will prevent the spread. One of the heart issues that is common is called mitral valve disease. This begins with a heart murmur which will then become more serious and result in heart failure. It is common in many breeds of dog but the reason this is more of a worry with Cavaliers is because it can be common in younger dogs rather than older dogs. In fact, sadly, they can be as young as two years old, which is why it's such a big worry as it will lead to early death. So do make sure that any breeder knows about the condition and they are able to complete a clear scan to prevent any awful heartache for both you and your pup. Another issue with spaniels, including cavaliers, are health conditions with those big bright eyes. One of these issues is aptly named dry eye, as this is precisely the issue. There can be a problem with the tear glands in that they stop producing tears, which results in, you guessed it, dry eyes. If you spot this early on, it can be easily treated with daily eye drops, but if this is left untreated, it may be too late and can result in blindness. There can also be hereditary cataracts and other conditions to do with their eyes, which they will benefit from scanning for. If any conditions does result in blindness, it's possible for your dog to still live a full and happy life. Just don't go switching up the house while they're becoming accustomed as there will be lots of bumping into things. I mentioned there about the importance of early prevention with dry eye and this can be the same with many other health issues that dogs can have. Not all conditions are hereditary. Infections, allergies and lack of proper consistent care can encourage larger health issues with your dog at any age. When grooming and bathing weekly, you will really have a chance to check up on the condition of their skin, ears and eyes. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts that I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femria Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry-leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Atherton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behaviour cases in the world and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels. And maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me, that's the place for you. So there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages. I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there. Signs of infection can be redness, inflammatory or tenderness. Eyes and ears can produce an odour or begin seeping if there's an infection. It will also help to keep a close watch if there's been a change of washing powder or you're moving into a new season as the pollen or other factors can bring out allergies you may not have known about. The more regular that you check, the earlier you can find anything irregular and be able to get a second opinion and medicine you may need from your vet. Also, all these regular checks at home will help your dog get used to being handled and will really help them become more calm and prepared for any vet appointment. Another factor that you can help control with, which will hugely affect their health and lifespan, is diet. There has been a significant rise in obesity issues reported by vets regarding Cavaliers. One of the reasons for this is because as a breed, they can be easily tempted to become couch potatoes and may still need some encouragement to stay active. 
If there is a change in exercise, maybe as your dog enters their golden years and prefers the fire to an adventure in the woods, their diet should be edited to reflect that slowing down. The easiest way to check if your dog has gained a significant amount of weight is by keeping an eye on their waistline. If there's a change in their shape and you can't see a thinning at the waist, maybe cut down on the treats and switch to a healthier diet. Hopefully these thoughts have helped you gain a bit more knowledge on the conditions that can pop up with the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, but do remember that you're not alone when it comes to keeping an eye on your dog. Your vet can provide lots of support and we do have more information on diet and other helpful pointers for Spaniels that may help you out. Cavaliers really do love spending time with their people, so as long as you give them all the love and attention that they crave, you'll be able to spot any issues early on and they will certainly thrive in your company. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comment section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Spaniel videos coming here every single week. So, I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenris Spaniel Show.